I'm Captain Intrigue. Let's check out my Mark III Tactical Superhero Helmet. I am Captain Intrigue. I needed a tactical crash helmet for my Mark III superhero armor and I had a huge wish list of features I wanted it to have. The helmet would provide me with the equivalent of real life superpowers and greatly enhance my tactical capabilities while wearing my armor. I prefer the philosophy of not trying to reinvent the wheel so I started by searching for any commercially available helmets that matched my design criteria. This was my wish list. Good visual perception, night vision capability, FPV drone capability, amplified hearing and hearing protection, a removable faceplate, bulletproof and trauma protection, comfortable and cool to wear during hot weather, easy to modify or replace broken parts. One commercially available helmet solution that met many of my criteria was the DevTac tactical helmet. It's actually an amazing helmet that uses modular bulletproof armor plates held in place by magnets and each section can be easily and quickly replaced. I love the overall design but I don't like the way that the night vision is pressed against the outside of the helmet lenses. This would mean that my FPV goggles wouldn't work with this helmet since the faceplate isn't removable and that was a deal breaker for me. I prefer to use my own compact DIY night vision FPV drone goggles similar to the one I built previously in this video. Stay tuned for a new updated version of those goggles. The DevTac peripheral vision also seems a bit too limited for a person riding an electric unicycle at high speeds since I need to be able to have a very wide field of view to react quickly to obstacles. It's a very impressive helmet but it doesn't quite fit my requirements at this point. There are also some excellent bulletproof tactical military helmet designs I considered but I'd likely spend a lot of time and money trying to adapt them to my specific needs. So I eventually decided to just design and build my own helmet. When we think of superhero and sci-fi helmets we often think of helmets worn by Iron Man or the Mandalorian. This is the way. While these iconic helmets look very cool they're actually terrible helmet designs. The visual perception is horrible and it's difficult to see anything while wearing them so those designs are disqualified immediately. My design philosophy is that form must always follow function so I try to design with the idea of making something functional and its appearance is determined by this. Hollywood does the exact opposite by creating superhero and sci-fi designs that look amazing but are usually completely impractical. Here's an example. Have you ever seen someone wearing a cosplay full suit of Iron Man armor trying to walk? Designing is always about managing constraints and making compromises in things like functionality, price, weight, durability, longevity, aesthetics, bulkiness, etc. My goal in this design is to achieve as many of my wish list attributes as possible in a DIY build. It isn't perfect and it will never be, but it has some amazing features that no other helmets have and I'll continue to refine it further. Let's take a closer look at my helmet wish list in order of importance and why I wanted each of them. The helmet needed to be compatible with my DIY night vision FPV goggles allowing me to see in the dark and also view camera video from my aerial drone, ground drones, gun scope camera and a remote wireless camera. It also needs infrared LEDs to illuminate my surroundings so the night vision camera can see in the dark. Stay tuned for an upcoming night vision FPV goggles video. The helmet needs amplified hearing so I can hear everything happening around me while wearing it and it needs hearing protection from loud noises such as when shooting firearms. I also wanted Bluetooth capabilities so I can listen to music while riding my electric unicycle and an audio input jack for monitoring my police scanner. Check out this video where I built super hearing into my Mark 1 helmet. I wanted a full face helmet to better protect me if I were to crash at high speeds on my electric unicycle. I considered something like the motorized flip up Iron Man helmet faceplate, but this wouldn't work with my night vision goggles. 
What I really needed was a face shield to protect my face but removable so I can cool off during hot weather. Making it removable also allows the night vision goggles to be pulled down and placed over my eyes. Check out this video where I built my Mark 1 helmet. The helmet also needs to be padded to provide trauma protection and to have the capability of being somewhat bulletproof. It also needs to stay cool in hot weather and have good airflow. Lastly, the helmet needs to be easy to modify and repair in sections without having to start over from scratch. I first needed to decide on the best materials to use. It was difficult to find a 3D printable material that was strong and durable enough but wouldn't crack or shatter from impact. Once again, I ended up choosing Nylon 910 because it's a semi-flexible, very durable material incapable of cracking or shattering and it's rated for high temperatures. Nylon is the only material I was unable to completely destroy during testing. During impact the nylon will flex and deform but it's very difficult to tear or break. I didn't want to create the helmet in one giant 3D print because this would take two or three days of print time. Long prints like this are very risky and very expensive due to print failures and if any helmet parts require replacement then the entire helmet would need to be 3, 3D printed again from scratch. So I decided to design the helmet using many smaller sections to make 3D printing more reliable and repairs much easier. This meant that I could easily remove, replace, or upgrade a smaller section of the helmet one piece at a time as needed. Designing my own custom 3D model for a 3D printed helmet was very challenging because it needed to fit my head perfectly. It took many iterations until it finally fit perfectly and comfortably. It was definitely worth the effort because now I have a design that I can just repeat for all my suits and because 3D printing is so accurate this means that each helmet will fit perfectly and all the various parts will be interchangeable. The Nylon 910 was used to form a 3D printed base layer. I then used 3D printed plastic panels over the top to join various sections together with screws. These panels will later be replaced with bulletproof 1 8 inch grade 2 titanium plates so the plastic panels are only temporary. These panels are the only components that will be bulletproof so it won't offer full coverage but it's over probably 85% coverage not counting the face shield. Check out this video where I tested titanium's bulletproof ability. In my previous range tests 1 16th inch titanium panels easily repelled handgun rounds so I'm confident that 1 8 inch titanium will perform even better. The titanium panels will also significantly increase the rigidity of the helmet once they're installed. The titanium will definitely repel handgun rounds easily, but will the nylon base layer and padding be strong enough to hold together during impact? We'll find out. Before testing it though, I first want to thoroughly field test the helmet to see if any design changes might be necessary before making the titanium panels since they're expensive and difficult to cut. So for now, the plastic panels will be fine for basic crash protection and testing. For inner padding, I used flexible TPU filament as a base layer and glued 3 8 inch EVA foam strips over that. These padding sections are removable and easy to install using screws from the outer helmet structure. It gave me the option of being able to move them around before finding the perfect location to fit the contour of my head for a comfortable fit. It seemed to provide good trauma protection while keeping my head spaced away from the helmet structure with a half inch air gap for trauma protection. This half inch air gap also helps to keep my head cool. I previously built my own super hearing system for my Mark 1 helmet in this video, but for this helmet I discovered some off-the-shelf shooting headphones which had every feature on my wish list. They have independent microphones on each side and amplify sounds by 300% while at the same time blocking any sound over 82 decibels to prevent hearing damage. They also have Bluetooth and separate volume controls for the amplification function and for the Bluetooth music. They're designed for the gun range and they're perfect for my application. And they also have an external audio input jack. One design benefit is that the headphones squeeze tightly onto your ears, sealing them and also helping to hold the helmet snug onto my head. I included a link in the description below for these headphones and I highly recommend them. The removable faceplate was an important part of the design and it's worked very well. It uses special 3D printed clips on each side to lock the faceplate onto the helmet and I can easily remove it if necessary during hot weather or if I need to use the night vision FPV goggles. It features a large polycarbonate face shield 
windshield so that I have good visual perception. And in the event of a crash, it'll protect my eyes, nose, and face. I added a breathing grill at the mouth and a vent at the top so that hot air can escape while fresh air is pushed into the helmet as I'm riding my electric unicycle. I 3D printed all the parts and assembly was very straightforward. I modified the shooting headphones so I could secure them to the sides of the helmet and installed the faceplate and internal padding. Everything went together easily. I've been wearing the helmet while riding my electric unicycle for several months and my field tests have been successful so far and it's been very comfortable to wear. After about two hours, the helmet starts to feel uncomfortable, but my electric unicycle can only ride for about two hours before depleting the battery anyway, so that's perfect. Overall, I'm very happy with the design and I feel much safer wearing it at 20 plus miles per hour riding the electric unicycle. I've been building more of these helmets to use for my other suits of armor and each one will have some minor but unique differences. Like everything I build, I'll continue to refine it as the need arises. The vent holes in the helmet work worked incredibly well at keeping me cool even in hot summer weather as long as I'm riding the electric unicycle so the air can flow freely. In part two of this helmet series I'll be making a few upgrades and fixing a few minor issues that my testing had revealed. In part three I'll be installing the bulletproof titanium plates and shooting at them on the gun range to test their effectiveness so stay tuned for that. I'll also be installing the night vision FPV video goggles and linking it to a drone in an upcoming video which will significantly increase the overall tactical capabilities of both the helmet and the armor. Leave a comment below and let me know if you have any ideas or suggestions for the helmet design or upgrades. Your feedback helps shape the future of the channel. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified of more upcoming superhero content.